Uh, hey guys, it's me, the Twilight Shimmer, and today I'll be recapping the 11th episode of uh, MLP Season 2 called uh, Herbs Warm uh, uh, Warming Eve. And this episode originally aired on the 17th of December 2011. So, uh, let's get right into it. So in this episode, it's basically a Christmas type episode where the ponies are going where the ponies are going back to Canterlot to uh, to take part in a play that Celestia wants them wants them to take part in, I guess. And the purpose of this play is to basically remind people like, you know, about the history of Earth ponies, Pegasi and unicorns. Um, and how they basically like united together, and you know, and created like um, 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 Equestria basically. And well, the problem, uh, well, the problem in this episode is that you know the main six start fighting immediately uh, before the play starts because, um, because what happens, um, because what happens is um, uh, someone forgets to close like one of the windows outside, and it's snowing, so. And so what happens is, um, like, like one of them, I can't remember who, but basically one, of them, <laughs> one of the main six like goes to like goes to Rainbow Dash and says, "Hey Rainbow Dash, like, hey Rainbow Dash, like, can you please close this window, please?" And then Rainbow Dash, up, and then Rainbow Dash doesn't, and and then and then they keep fighting, and the plays about start like two minutes. And so what happens is, like Spike, like you know, Spike immediately starts, you know, like Spike immediately. You know, like narrates like laughing, like laughing in the past, and basically in the past, you know, like Earth ponies, like unicorns, like Earth ponies, like like unicorns and Pegasi, were kind of allies at first until until the Earth ponies had stopped making food, I guess, and then and then each tribe was. Was kind of against each other because they thought, you know, the other tribe was hogging all the food and whatnot. Like when in reality, like the reason why like, all the food, like all, let's say all the food and stuff, like weren't being made, like you know, like you, let's say, like you know, like create. How do you explain it? Like, like you know, a farm is basically farm for food and whatnot. Like, well, the reason why. You know the earth ones that couldn't make the food is because it is because the Wendigos, and in the pony universe, Wendigos are like are kind of flying creatures, like who are flying creatures like who creates like storms, like storms and whatnot, and that affect the weather. And their and the main source of energy is basically the hatred of ponies. And so in this case, right, like when like. And so in this case, right, when all three uh, uh, pony tribes were fighting, like, you know, like, their anger and hatred were basically, like, feeling their, like, you know, powers to control the weather and whatnot. And so what happens is, right, at one point, um, all three tribes basically, like, go to, go to this new piece of land, I guess, to claim it as their own, but the problem is, right, in this, in this picture here, like, they actually, they accidentally, uh, find the same piece of land, and then they start arguing again, and because they're arguing, it basically attracts the Wendigos, again, to, like, to their location, and so they have to hide in a cave and whatnot, and but then they're still fighting, like, all for lead, and then they're still fighting, like, you know, inside the cave, which causes the Wendigos to basically freeze all three, basically all three leaders. And then in the end, their servants, I guess, uh, are kind of the only ones, like, you know, like, are basically the only ones, like, left alive and see what happened. And then they learn that, you know, friendship is the, uh, friendship and unity is the, only, like, is the only way to, you know, like, stop the Wendigos, like, you know, because they feed on hatred and whatnot. But if you're happy and, uh, you know, lovely, I guess, to somebody, and then they, um, and then they like, disappear, it's so at the end, um, it's so at the end of this play, basically, 
um, like everyone's, you know, happy again and whatnot. And then when he goes are gone, and and yeah, guys, and, and and that's the end of my recap. Basically, at the end of this episode, uh, like we all learn that if you love and care for each other, and you don't like, and you don't fight and whatnot, then the Wendigos in this case like won't actually like come to your location and start freezing you t- and, and and start freezing you. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.